Phosphoric acid is an interesting chemical with many uses, including being an insecticide, flux, and wet preserver. Phosphoric acid also has some interesting chemical uses in being a precursor to many organoboron compounds as well as a catalyst. In this video, I'm preparing boric acid from borax. I do in the note first that this is not cheaper than just buying from an over-to-the-counter boric acid source. I'm only doing this experiment because I have heaps of borax laying around and I wanted to explore this reaction. To prepare the boric acid, I start with about 15.468 grams borax, 5 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid, and about 45 milliliters of distilled water. I started by bringing 45 milliliters of distilled water to a boil. Once at a boil, the borax is added and stirred. The solution will still be a little cloudy, but that's okay. I spilled some borax here, which will most definitely lead to some lost yield. Once dissolved, the solution is removed from heat and 5 milliliters of 3 molar hydrochloric acid is added. The solution is then covered with plastic wrap and allowed to cool to room temperature. Once at room temperature, the solution is then transferred to a fridge for a few hours to crystallize out as much boric acid as possible. Once fully chilled, nice boric acid crystals should have formed. A top of liquid is then decanted and the crystals are transferred to a coffee filter on top of some paper towels to dry. The final yield is about 5.876 grams of boric acid, which correlates to percent yield of 58.6%. This yield isn't great, but the spills and slight solubility of boric acid in cold water could explain the poor yield. I have some potential project ideas that I can use as boric acid. Some include isolating elemental boron from my Elma collection, synthesizing organoboron compounds, and looking to boric acid as a catalyst. If you have any ideas on how I can use this boric acid, feel free to leave a comment below. I hope this procedure was useful, and thank you for watching.